January 2022 Marvel Comics revealed, and uh, January is where things start to look very different for Marvel in terms of a lot of these relaunches, a lot of these titles that are promised, the changes coming to the X lineup. Um, it just starts to look a little bit different. Now, not dramatically different, but it starts to, I think, paint a picture for 2022. Marvel has made several statements around how they're going to try some different things in 2022. Here's where we go. Uh, forewarning, um, I do these sarcastically. And I hate that this needs to be said. I don't think it needs to be said for 95% for of the people watching right now. But when I'm sarcastic, of course, it's not aimed at a particular person, a creator. Um, it, it's I'm, I'm making jokes because it's a lot of comics. And it's just, I call it a coping mechanism. This is what I'm doing to try and just make it a little bit more entertaining. The jokes are not intended to be cruel. I apologize if they are. And, you know, what are we going to do here? So let's let's walk through them. And I'll, I'll, I'll be as funny as I can. It's also early in the morning. I don't know how funny I will be, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So, all right. What do we have? Oh, two new series for Wolverine. Mary, one shots, some Star Wars stuff. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, well, well, these are the summaries, actually. Uh, this is actually worth taking a look at. Uh, four of Marvel's mutant titles taking a break in January. Some will come back. Some won't come back. Some will come back under different creators. Some will come back rebranded, it sounds like. Lots of, uh, lots of things. All right. Um, Starting right off, uh, 10 Lives of Wolverine, one of five. I'd heard this was going to be a six-issue series. Clearly, that was wrong. But here we have um, the, the 10 Lives of Wolverine, the 10 Deaths of Wolverine. This is being portrayed as Ben Percy's House of X, Powers of 10. Um, what is the pitch? Well, Josh Cassera is on this. Uh, Logan, James Howlett, Weapon X of Mutant Best Knows Wolverine, lived many lives under the identity in many places, but never before as a fate of the future been so entwined with the past. So this is a never before seen episodes uh, as Logan must travel to various points of time to prevent the death of a key figure in mutant history. Moira, probably, who knows? But anyway, here we go, lots of covers. We got the lives of Wolverine, okay. And the deaths of Wolverine. So here is uh, the, the powers of tin side of this, if we're using that analogy. This is, uh, you know, the other part to this, the can't miss reading, chock full of revelations, fate of mutant kind, all the rest. Uh, the deaths will be by Federico Vincentini, uh, the lives by Joshua Cassera, and lots of Wolverine. It's hard to believe that just a couple of years ago, Marvel had killed off Wolverine as being a character that they felt like they had done all they could do with that character. Now we've got a, you know, you know we got this going on, so, but... All right, and here's issue two. How often is this shipping? I think it's shipping every other week, or so basically weekly. You get one and then the other shipping weekly. So that's what I believe. That's what I'm led to believe. So here's number two. And in number two, navigating the time stream. Who doesn't love a time stream story? Ugh. I, 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 I got tired of time. So I, I, you know, I think I've seen some really good time stories and I think I'm, I'm done with it. But anyway, here we go with the deaths. They're doing all the tech stuff. This, I guess we're supposed to infer a little bit, the, uh, kind of the, the conclusion of powers of, uh, 10 powers of powers of X. Uh, 10, uh. Anyway, there's mystique. That's nice. Hanging out on this, uh, <clears throat> this knee here. All right. No one is, no one is safe. Future is at stake. All right. Uh, devil's reign. Number three, and by the way, I think they're billing this whole thing as being very connected to Inferno and Moira and all the rest. I suspect when all is said and done, it won't be as connected as it sounds. And none of these series have been. There's been a bit of a bait and switch in the X office in general, where they talk up the slack and the careful planning and the fact that everything's connected to each other and they're very, very meticulous, all the rest. But then when you actually get to the comics, it turns out they're not as connected. They're not as intertwined as you're led to believe. It's, it's, um, it's, it's kind of having the cake and eating it too. It's kind of having no cake and not eating it. I mean, anyway, that analogy doesn't work. Here's Devil's Reign, three of six. What's going on? Well, Daredevil and Captain America hanging out behind the wall like a creeper, staring at Luke Cage and uh, Jessica Jones having a smooch while some police, the Guardian from DC, shows up and, and wanders around. All right, Mayor Fisk has reached a breaking point. Supervillains, deputy, deputized Thunderbolts. This is like, this, this feels like... Um, uh, this, uh, oh God, no, the, the, God, what was the, the fallout of, of Norman Osborn? What was that imprint called? God, why am I not remembering this? It's, it is too early. It, it's, uh, dark rain. Was that what, was it dark rain? This is devil's rain. feels like we're doing dark rain again. Anyway, it's fine. Um, the superior four, this is part one of three 
Doc Ock uh, goes and gets all of the different uh, versions of himself. So the uh, arms can all, this is just hentai in the making. I, I'm just, just pointing out right there. Um, Luke Cage, City of Fire, number two of three. This is the, the celebration of Luke Cage with the three-part series. It still makes me a little insane. Here's Devil's Reign, X-Men, at number one of three. Phil Noto on this. And uh, this is, you know, how does the White Queen deal with uh, the Kingpin? All right. Cool. Looks like a lot of flashbacks because here's Electra. This, this feels like flashback comic. Here's Devil's Reign Winter Soldier. Uh, Bucky's uh, sneaks into his office and uh, how, how, he could hear this guy coming. It would not be a surprise. I'm sorry. I, I Anyway, all right. This is the first scene. This is a, how it started, how it ended. Okay, sure. Um, how far would go to say? Villains for Hire, number three. Okay, this is, again, feels very much, it is Dark Reign. Feels more of a you know, so the villains are uh, are somehow in charge and they're doing stuff. Here's Daredevil Woman Without Fear, number one of three. This is the title that got everybody all crazy uh, because they're like, see, they're changing Daredevil into a woman permanently. But no, it's a three-part series for for this. I fully expect Matt Murdock to be Daredevil again when all said and done, But because uh, I think there's too much money in Elektra. But who knows? Who, who knows what people do anyway? Elektra, Black, White, and Blood, number two of four. Very good. Okay. Um, I feel like I should make a joke about the, just, anyway. All right, Ben Riley, Spider-Man 1 of 5. Uh, this is uh, J.M. DeMattis, and this is fulfilling in a missing hole in the uh, era of the Ben Riley Spider-Man. I, I do feel like Marvel's uh, misjudging a little bit how well Spider-Man's going to go over, but here's Amazing Spider-Man, number 85, more hentai action as uh, Doc Ock uh, shows up and Plans to put his little octopus arms straight up Spider-Man's uh, life. Yeah. Anyway, this is what happens. Aunt May went to go uh, get his help, and he's going to use it to kill Spider-Man. Then we get uh, this kind of Norman Rockwell cover here. What's going on? Uh, this is one of those comics you'll remember for years to come. Yep, we're getting Spider-Penis. That's right. That's the only thing it could be. Anyway, uh, and then next, this after 86, a comic we'll remember for years to come, we get number 87, which we won't remember. Is this back to Peter? I think this is, oh well. Uh, Captain America is, Ben Rye, if Ben Rye is really down, is Peter Parker able to step and be Spider-Man? You may think you know where this story is going, but you do not. Okay, sure. Jed McKay is on this. Um, this is interesting, by the way. Um, the Beyond Board which again, trying to cash in on this X-Men. So it's got Patrick Gleason, Saladin Ahmed, Zeb Wells, Kelly Thompson, Cody Ziegler. And here's Cody Ziegler on this comic right here. And then we get Zeb Wells on this comic. Okay. And now they're, the, the Beyond board has outsourced the work to Jed McKay. Now that's good news, I think, is Jed McKay is a fine writer, but it's it's kind of striking that it's it's been like two months and already none of the Beyond board are actually writing the comic. We've, we've taken it to Jed McKay. I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's weird to me. It's weird, but I, whatever, whatever. Uh, Jen McKay is a good writer. So, I mean, who's not complaining? Here's uh, Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond. I'm trying to cash in on that Beyond stuff. But what if Beyond isn't a big seller? Then they're just slapping Beyond on a bunch of stuff. I don't know. In this comic, the two of them uh, scissor. That's what they do. So buy it. She-Hulk, number one. The return of She-Hulk, they say, uh, about to glam up the whole universe. The best character ever is back in her own series. This is an interesting admission. So we're, we're going ahead and saying that the previous She-Hulk was not the best character ever. Um, okay. Jennifer Walters is no longer savage, puts her life back together, career to rebuild, friends to reconnect with, court of law, enemies. All right. Um, the last page of the first issue is going to send Jen down a road she's never traveled that will shake up her life and probably, possibly, the whole Marvel universe. So, okay. Anyway. Uh, Rainbow Rowell in this book, um, Maestro, World War M, number one. So this is Peter David, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. Again, wouldn't it have made sense to just have a Maestro series and not do these little limited series? I, I don't know. I, I've, I've run the numbers. It seems like the little five-issue limited series do worse. But anyway, here's, here's Beard Hulk. And because he's got a beard, he's an angry YouTuber. That's what's going on. And he's like fighting the... The woke right here. That's no, that's not what's going on. But it'd be kind of funny if it was. Anyway, Silver Surfer Rebirth, one of five. Ron Mars, Ron Lim. The Rons bring us uh, a tale from the past. I think is it a tale from the past? Yes, it is. 
well, how about a tale from now? That would be even cooler. Like put Ron Mars and Ron Lim on a book and tell, I mean, what is what silver surfer? Is he, is he too busy doing nothing right now? Like anyway, Sabretooth, one of five answering the question of it's a limited series. It is. So in January, Victor Lavelle, who we heard was doing an amazing project to dream come true. It's Sabretooth. That's what it was. And, uh, he went down into the pit. So, uh, so, okay, maybe he feels what's, what secret deal has changed his faith forever. What if he's not alone down in the pit? Who's in the pit? God, let it be all the other X-Men are down in the pit. That would be the twist of all twists. It'd be great. Silk, number one. This is uh, at least billed here as an ongoing comic. I lay 0% odds it will be. But anyway, Silk, uh, we're, we're going with Silk. So all new, all-star series, gaining popularity in the public eye, questioning your place in the world, discovers the ancient Korean magic and social media. Oh, who, who can't, I can't wait to see Silk tweet. Uh, Fantastic Four Reckoning Alpha number one. Reckoning War Alpha number one. Okay, cool. So this is Dan Slott, Carlos Pacquio uh, doing an alpha comic, which then will lead to a bunch of uh, connections and tie-ins. So this is The Reckoning War. Um, the first war, the greatest war. This is Dan Slott's opus. A lot of people, even people who dislike Dan Slott an immense amount, uh, they, they've been wanting this. And there's Jack of Hearts. So, so that's good. All right. Uh, Fantastic Four, number four. My guess is here we've got uh, the Reckoning War. Yep, this is uh, opening shot, left Earth in complete and utter chaos. Oh my God, I hope the plants haven't invaded the Earth. That'd be terrible. Um, anyway, all right. Sue Storm has gone completely invisible. Even watchers can't see her. Wait, what? Okay, Johnny Storm, full supernova. Everybody's powers are out of control. Dogs and cats, Avengers Forever, number two. In this one, We've got uh, a Ghost Rider, an Ant-Man, and uh, Deathlock, and they are on an alternate Earth, and brutal war machines, Ghost Rider, Ant-Man, Tony Stark, Rather of All Rescues, multiversal shenanigans that we've all loved. Here's the thing, three of six, Walter Mosley, uh, and he's boxing. Marvel's getting their money out of that sponsorship right there. That's what's going on. Is that... Uh, no, that's not. I was going to say, is that Moon Girl? No, I don't even, I think that's, I don't want to misgender this, this boy here, but, or maybe it's a girl. I, I don't know. Um, I thought it was Moon Girl. It's not, apparently. Okay. Black Panther Legends, number three of four. Black Panther fights a panther. Cool. Fa Captain America, Iron Man, number three of five. Uh, Captain America and Iron Man fight something. Green, what is this? Uh, not sure what that is. Some kind of, I mean, it's a super adaptoid type thing. I, I don't know. Anyway, I cool. They're they're fighting that. All right. Black Panther number three, which is also Black Panther number two hundred. It really does feel like, uh, you know, given I don't think this is a bigger comic. No, it is fifty six pages. What am I talking about? Okay, Black Panther two hundred or number three, your choice. Uh, T'Challa goes to visit Storm on Mars and, uh, oh, we're sending Black Panther back into space. That's a fine idea. Uh, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, number three of five. Hawkeye, uh, is, um, here and fighting a bunch of people. Okay. Uh, the, the preview pages for this for me, uh, are painful to, to know in the, the, the whole selfie game and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm not, uh, this is, this, it doesn't build up a hero. I guess it appeals to people on Twitter who like selfies, but I mean, also, I mean, the whole selfie as a gag thing is 2017. I don't know. Miss Marvel beyond the limit, number two of five. So here is, uh, uh Miss Marvel is, she's punched her way out of the Bollywood bubble. She landed in when she got home from sh Chicago. Hulk number three, Hulk's in space. Wolverine's in an old costume. What does this mean? There's another Bruce Banner. Where's the Hulk? It's a doozy. All right. Maybe there's no Wolverine in this. It's not advertising mover. Uh, Dark Ages, four of six. You get to the point with some of these solicitations and covers where you make a guess at it and you're just like, I, okay, all right. Uh, Tom Taylor and a group of heroes have crossed the dark season, desperate and dangerous attempt to save their friends. But before the heroes can save the world, they must first survive the most treacherous place on earth, Europe. And, well, you'll never guess which character is bisexual. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a Tom Taylor joke. Just, just kidding. Europe is the most treacherous place on earth. Well, that, that's, that's, yeah, yeah you're not wrong. Uh, Venom, number four. Okay. Venom, somebody's stabby, stabby. Oh, the Villainous Life Foundation is back. And uh, they're going after Dylan, who's got the Venom symbiote. 
uh, Ram V. Brian Hitch. All right. No sign of Al Ewing anywhere. All right. Here is X-Men Legends, number 11. This is the Lee Simonson, Walter Simonson, uh, New Mutants, uh, the, the Horsemen of Apocalypse are trying to find a, a new horseman. And here's X-Men number seven, where uh, the X-Men leap into action, but Captain Krakoa is here. And he's wanting to take, um, uh, he takes charge of the X-Men. Uh, who is this new mutant hero? Probably not a mutant. Uh, I feel like they're going to go back to the well of somebody pretending to be a mutant. Or maybe it's Eunice the Untouchable, or I, I, who knows. Anyway, um, uh, inner dr drama. Marauders, annual number one, Steve Orlando, who appears to be the new creative on the book. Uh, cool. We've got Brimstone Love, which is a definite um, reach back into the past. Theater of Pain. Uh, Dakin, Psylocke. Looks like this is the new team we're going with here. Uh, I, it feels like they, they've been, I mean, is it just me? I mean, with Dakin, they keep trying to push Dakin and I know Dakin's very popular on Facebook and Twitter, but I, the people who come into the shop hate that character. I, I don't know. Is, are there Dakin fans out there? I, I just, I, mm -hmm. new mutants, number 25, uh, Madeline's Madeline's looking, looking good here. I, this, um, torn cloth here looks like she's got some really disturbing going on down there. But, uh, anyway, uh, this is, is promoting, uh, Ilana is the sorcerer Supreme. So maybe she's taking, this is not a good idea for Ilana though, for magic. Um, she has her own character, has her own thing, the limbo connection. There's tons you could do with, with magic, uh, throwing the sorcerer Supreme title on her, is a is a big mistake, I think. But anyway, lots of candles. If you keep all those candles like this, eventually it's going to start a fire. Particularly if you got books flying around everywhere, it's not a good idea. Just just saying, fire safety helps us all. Here's uh, Marvel Avengers Tech on Avengers. It's ending. This is the Jim Zub series. This series has been great. Uh, it's I mean it, it it's not a this isn't big continuity kind of stuff, but it's just been fun. It's solid. It's Avengers. It feels like uh, some manga there. It's a Fine little series. It, it does what it says it's going to do. Life Story, six of six. The old Fantastic Four. Uh, the final phase, fate of the foursome. Here's the Doombots, Doctor Doom, Conquest of Earth. Uh, will these old people be able to, to pull it all off? I don't know. Uh, Moon Knight, number seven. You think Reed Richards could could do the you know Rick earlier clone thing and and make it make it play? But I whatever. Moon Knight, number seven. Uh, again, Jed McKay on this, who's, who's making quite a name for himself. He's he's like Chip Zdarsky was like two or three years ago when everybody's like, holy shit, Chip Zdarsky does everything great. Now it's Jed McKay. Anyway, out for blood. Cool. They're, they're still pushing this bar with no name. I still believe this. Uh, would the Marvel heroes allow a bar for villains to just exist? We've seen now that the Marvel heroes all know it's there. Why, when they go in and... and and shut that down. It's like, well, the villains are just minding their own business. Yeah, after they've been done murdering, they go and get a drink. So it's like, well, they're they're getting a drink. I mean, we can't we can't shut that down. What what are you talking about? Death of Doctor Strange, Bloodstone, number one. Are we going to do something with Elsa Bloodstone this time? I don't know. Teeny Howard's going to answer that question. I'm guessing no. Uh, they all they they push out Bloodstone. They they give her a relationship with Deadpool. They do they keep trying, and then they they seems like. They tell their story and then they promptly forget about her for months. So maybe, maybe we're getting something more with her. I don't know. Death of Dr. Strange, five of five. Is he dead? The three mothers, uh, Dr. Strange murder, all one last trick from young time traveling Dr. Strange. Okay. Defenders. I, I'm guessing he's not going to be dead at the end of that, but I don't know. He's not dead here though. Here's the Avengers. Are we getting the reveal of who is this character? The masked writer, mass Raider, who knew nobody really cared about his reveal. But anyway, he's trying. I, I'm not, I, I wanted to like this comic. I like the first issue. This sort of like the second issue. Third, I, it was the, the most recent issue I read. It's like, I, you know, I'm, I'm out. Avengers 52, multi-universal madness. Look at all these wacky characters that are different from the characters we know. That's crazy. Crazy. Anyway. All right. Nobody's ever seen anything like the star brand unleashed. I, I mean, why not? Spider Woman, number 19. Spider Woman meets Spider Woman. It's a Devil's Reign tie-in. All right. Uh, here is Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Still rocking that costume I hate. Other people, I've seen a number of people come in and say they really like this thing. Cool. I, I mean, if it works for you, works for you. Uh, is this his weird, lumpy brother? Is that what's, uh, I think so. Oh, we're back to the assessor. All right. Oh, it's Ben Riley. Okay, we're just tying everything into it now. Marvel's number eight. 
Kurt Busiak, Yardry Sinair. This is a, a book that continues to, it's been solid. I mean, it's just kind of hanging out on its own. All new Warbird is revealed. Cool. There, there she is. I think she's black now. That's, that's what, uh, that's what that says. Phoenix Song Echo, number four. Um, here is the Phoenix. Here is, is this the trickster from Fall of Mutants? Uh, probably not, but maybe. Oh, it is the adversary. Yep, it is. Okay. Well, I, I can't say I was looking forward to the series, but I will. I mean, all right, you're going to tie into Fall of Mutants. I'll go, I'll go look. Like, you should lead with more of that. Anyway. All right. They're, they're doing kind of the dark Phoenix ish saga and Phoenix song. I, I got a preview copy of the, of this book. It would, I don't know. Uh, here's Iron Man number 16. Wow. It's hard to believe it's only on 16. This series feels like it's been roughly 500 issues of, uh, absolute torture. Again, nothing against the creator, any of the people involved. I, this, this, this is a, people sometimes ask me, what books do I like? Not like, I do not like this book. I do not like it. I do not like it with cheese. I do not like it with ham. I do not like it with a hat. I do not like it with a bus. I, I, that's not how that book goes, but in fairness, it's been a long time. I do not like it. Anyway, the Iron God is on Earth. Humanity, Tony Stark. Okay. Uh, power corrupts. Sure. Black Widow, number 14. Chandelier action. Cool. Uh, Captain Marvel, 36. Chandelier action. No, actually, it looks like Captain Marvel and some friends fight the goo Captain Marvels um, in space. All right. Fun. So A fight so big we had to add an issue. It's odd. Okay. But this is the finale. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel. Cool. By the way, I'll give Kelly Thompson some credit. It's it's that day of the of the year. Um, Captain Marvel's got a big threat. What does she do? She goes and gets the uh, Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. That makes sense. That's good. I hate these comics where like Captain Marvel's facing some huge multiversal threat. And she's like, well, I'm going to have to call in uh, my friends War Machine and Hazmat and... Uh, you know, and uh, Monica Rambeau is not answering her phone, and uh, I don't feel like leaving a voicemail. Let's uh, let's get Spider Woman in here. That's that's how it often goes. So it looks like they, you know, she's bringing some actual, you know, people who could, in theory, face a multiversal threat. That makes sense. Shang Chi getting a getting a little neck massage there. That's that's always nice. Eternals number nine um, looks like somebody's really messing up South America. That's uh, that's this Argentina is. Fucked right there. All right. Strange Academy, number 15. Top hats are in. I, yeah. All right. This is, uh, I feel like a lot of jokes can be made here. We got a little like midget uh, clown thing and we got a hunky uh, or a hulky, not hunky, uh, like a hulking old lady here. And we got top hat guy with Joker colors. It's like, I don't know. I, what I feel like I should do is Stefan, like, this is the most exciting thing you have ever seen. We have top hats, scarves. And old oh, ladies, they will delight you in Strange Academy. That's that's kind of what it feels like. Anyway, I didn't do that very well. It's been a while. Thor. Thor is crushed by his logo. It happens. It's a hell of a thing. Um, here is Savage Avengers. Conan rides into the snowy sunset. Oh, this is the end. Okay. Crom, it's all done. Thank you for the adventure. Conan's gone. He's, he's all done. Okay. Kazar, Lord of the Savage Land, number five. Uh, this, this comic is, is, a, is a tricky. I'll just leave it there. Alien number nine. Uh, oh, this is what happens when you have those candles too close to all the pages. This alien knows it's like magic. You burn down the farm every time. King Conan number two of five here. Conan's a king. Maybe he's got a son there. That's probably what's going on. Here's star Wars. Chewbacca. Uh, no, this is just probably a Wookiee with a lifesaver. Uh, who did, you know, sounds, sounds good to me. Uh, high Republic, eye of the storm. Yeah, you know, you, you're going to get, you're going to fall, dude. You're going to, you know, there's no safety rope. You don't look that cool staring off into this. No one can see you. I don't even know what you're doing. I guess it, it is on the nose for eye of the storm, but bad plan. And here's a uh, trial of shadows. Uh, number four, I can't tell you what these titles are doing right now, to be honest. Um, high Republic number 13, yeah, she is not the, like this is the most passive deflect lasers being shot at you at all at all times. I, I not doing anything. Crimson rain, okay. Got some got some crimson rain, uh, different than the purple rain. Here's Star Wars bounty hunters, okay. They're still standing around. They've got some bounties to solve. Oh no, boxes. 
uh, Star Wars number 21. Okay. It's kind of a weird looking architecture there. The stormtroopers like, oh man, why'd you, you sculpt Darth Vader's head in this? It's crazy. All right. that's it. Okay. So in general, we're looking at, um, oh, about 15, 16 books a week for the four weeks of uh, January. So they're, they're stepping up their game. There's quite a bit here, actually. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of comics. Uh, let's see, we've got, I'm just estimating here. I'll go back and do the count later, but it looks like about 70 ish comics coming in January from Marvel. This of course is not counting the trades. Those are all down over here. I'm going to call it a day cause we're at 25 minutes here, but here's uh, like 1962, uh, hardcover. There's a Wakanda book here. That's, that's pretty cool. This is, um, a good omnibus here, uh, with a lot of good, uh, Oh no, this is the newer stuff. Never mind. Okay. Less interested. Here's Luke Cage omnibus. That's nice thing. A Phoenix omnibus. All right. Uh, Black Panther, the early years. This is the one that, uh, that I would say go all in on. That, that's a, that's going to be a really good, this is some great stories in here for Black Panther. Yes. Here's Inferno, the hardcover. Okay. Uh, here's Ben Percy's X-Force. Those X books on uh, Amazon are dying a, a very rapid death right now. Uh, Marvel Masterworks. Here's Daredevil. Um, here's a, you know, another, here's um, the J. Michael Stradinsky uh, omnibus. There's some good omnibuses in here. Lots and lots. Of, uh, there's an ad for Game Radar. Here's a uh, Trial Magneto. Doctor Strange. Sure. Lots of, lots of stuff going on here. It's these. It's these like the Marauders here and this Excalibur here. These are, are dying over on Amazon. Uh, they are not doing well, these trades. Um, anyway, uh, you don't, don't have to take or this, this, uh, the reign of X collections. It go, don't take my word for it. Go look at them. They're there. These reprints are, are doing poorly. I will say anyway, that's it. What are you buying in January? See, not too sarcastic. There you go. Kind of exhausted myself, but there, there you have it. Uh, are you buying Wolverine lives and dies and all that kind of stuff? Let me know in the comments below what you're buying, what you're not buying. And thanks for listening.